Hey guys, Kirby Master Ultra here, and welcome to part 8 of my Pokemon White Nuzlocke challenge. And in the last episode, we cleared out that last route. We got um, Car to evolve into a Savine, and I got incredibly lucky by encountering a Sork on my first try in the Rustling Glass. I still promise, guys, that was my first encounter, I'm not kidding. So, today we are going to be taking on this gym right here. But before we do that, I just want to say something very quickly. Um, I have grinded the team up to level 17, except for Cupcake, and I'll explain why I did that in a minute. But I grinded them because my team were really under leveled and um, I needed to like make sure they were strong enough to take on this gym so that's why they were level 17 and they learned some new move moves as well. Um, Brick right here, he learned Mud Slap at level 17 which I replaced, um, what was it, I replaced Sand Attack for, yeah, and Josh, my new um, Sork right here, uh, he learned Low Sweep which I replaced Bide for. You didn't get to see him in action, but we will see him in action hopefully this episode. But I didn't grind Cupcake up because she's still level 15, because on the next level she actually evolves. And I would like us all to witness her um, evolution, so let's get this underway. Alright, she's at the front, so let's go into this gym right here. And we shall- wait, what's this? Oh, it's Zen! Oh, don't tell me he beat me to the gym already. Don't tell me he pulled a Gary Oak on us. I- I want to see things no one can see. The truths of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The ideas of how trainers should be. And the future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? Uh, yeah, I guess I do. That's so? I think my friends and I should test you to see if you can see this future too. Um, well, I can't really see the future if I'm not telepathic or something. But oh well. I guess we're going to be taking on N before we take on the gym. Okay, fair enough. So he has a pit of, and I'm going to send out Cupcake. She's the only one who I didn't grind because next level she actually evolves. It'd be nice for us all to see her um, evolution. So here we go. I'm going to go bite this thing right here. But it's going to hit me with a quick attack. Which is going to hurt kind of. So just bite it again. Alright, let's go for another bite. Hopefully we can get a flinch. Yes, we got a flinch. Sweet. Let's finish it off with one more bite. But of course it's going to quick attack me, which is lame. So I'm just going to bite you now. Here we go. Alright, there we go. The pit-off goes down. Very good. And gives us quite a good chunk of experience. A timber. I'm actually going to um, keep Cupcake in. And I'm going to switch out. I think I'll switch out to um, Josh, my Sork. Because you haven't seen him in action yet. So here we go. Coming out, Josh. And do your thing. Here we go. Here he comes. Josh the Sork. Pretty sure he's going to be sticking around for a while. Alright, he's just going to go straight up for a focus energy right there. I'm just going to go for my new move, Low Sweep. So here we go. Sork in action. Here we go. Low Sweep. Ha, kicked you straight in there. Nice. And we lowered its speed. Very good. He's just going to leer us. Fair enough. I'm just going to finish off with a double kick. So here we go. Alright, let's go ahead and double kick that thing in the face. There we go. Nice. That thing is taken out. Very good. Alright, so there we go. Some experience for my team. Um, I'm just going to um, switch Cupcake to the front for this temple right here because I would like her to evolve, so yes. Okay, here we go. Come on up, Cupcake, and do your thing. Let's see, how close are you? Oh, I think this last Timpole will actually level her up, which will be nice. So here we go. Um, let's hope she can take it on. I'm not going to try takedown yet because it's pretty risky, so I'll just stick with Bite. Bubble Beam. That's going to hurt, kind of. Yes, it does hurt. So, that was some nice damage right there. So, I'm just going to put a potion on um, Cupcake right here. So, here we go. You could use a potion. There we go. That'll be very good. Nice. And uh, Bubble Beam again. That ain't fun, actually. So, let's just go ahead and uh, actually just try Takedown right here. Hopefully, yes, it missed Supersonic. Nice. Hopefully, Takedown will knock it out. There we go. Knocked out. Sweet. And that will level up Cupcake. There we go. And she's now level 16, so you know, that's, you know what that means? Let's get ready to do this. N, N has been defeated. I cannot see the future yet. The world is still to be determined. Sure is, N. But now, here we go. With that done, the second member of our Nuzlocke team is going to evolve. Here you go, Cupcake. Get on with it. Alright, very, very cool. We now have a Herdia, so Cupcake should be a bit more of a threat this time. Very nice. Right now, my friends aren't strong enough to save our Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the question that will change the world. So, I need power. Power enough to make everyone agree with me. Um, that's power's public speaking. Have you tried that, N? 
Now I know po what power I need. Rashiram, the legendary Pokemon that, along with the hero, created the Nova region. It is my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friends. Wait, were you talking to me about that? No, because I don't want to be friends with you. But anyway, I'm still going to keep Cupcake to the front because, of course, she's only level 16 and everyone else is level 17, so we can get her to the front. So let's just go and heal up my team very quickly, and I think we'll buy some more potions as well. I, I can't remember if I bought some last um, episode or not. And then we shall go and take on the gym. Oh dear, what's that? <laughs> Something tapping on my window there. But well, well, never mind. Let's, uh, let's get this on. Alright, come on, that's enough. There we go. Now I'm going to buy some more potions. Let's see. Do, do, do. How many do I have in my bag right now? Let's see. I have five, so I think I'll buy three more to make eight, and that'll be good. So there we go. Alright. So with that done, it is now time to go and take on the gym. So here we go. Um, Lenora, the normal type gym leader. Let's hope um, our team will do really well against her. And Josh, our Sork, should do really good because he is a fighting type, of course. So as we go in, we get a museum. This ain't the gym. I came here for a gym. Wow, whenever I look at the skeleton, I'm fascinated. You're fascinated, huh? What's this? What? Welcome, I'm Haas, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. No, I don't want a tour. I want a gym battle. What are you doing? Ugh. The skeleton is of a dragon-type Pokemon. There's a theory that it had an accident when it was flying around the world, and so it became a fossil. Oh, that's Dragonite, I didn't know that. And there's Armada right there in a little slab of fossil. There we go. This rock is amazing. It's a meteorite. It contains some kind of energy from space. Deoxys reference for the win. And what's this? Oh, this? It's an ordinary old stone. I found it. It was found near a desert, but other than the fact that it's old, it doesn't seem to have any value. We won't display it because it looks rather pretty. Well, that will have a lot of value later on in the game, man, and you will see soon. But anyway, the Pokemon Gym is just beyond here. At the end of the gym, a very strong and kind gym leader is waiting. By the way, the gym leader, Leonard, happens to be my wife. Oh, cool story, bro. So there we go, the gym is actually back here. So let's just um, see right here. Yep, Cupcake is at the front, and she's going to be getting so much action here, along with Sork and hopefully my other team members as well. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Taking on the gym. Oh, yes. Gym time. And what's this? Oh, it's Clyde again. Who do you want? Uh-huh, I don't care what you say. He's just going to give me some fresh water. That will come in handy soon. So thank you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Can you stop talking and let me go on, please? Oh, my God. There we go. God, these caretakers are really just a bunch of chatterboxes, aren't they? So here we go. Ready to fight the first trainer right here. So here we go. I have... I hang around Nasreen City Gym. Well, I hang around Nasreen Gym all the time. People call me a bookworm. I want you know I'm strong because I spend my entire day either reading books or training Pokemon. So you're strong because you read books. I'm pretty sure that doesn't make you physically strong, man. But anyway, let's get into a battle with School Kid Cutter. He has a Patch Rat. You know, I'm really getting sick of Patch Rats now. I just wish I would stop running into them because you know they've been appearing, they've been appearing all the time, and I just want to fight something different. But oh well, we'll just take down this thing right here with Cupcake. And will that kill it? Ah, oh, so close. But it's going to sand attack me, which is annoying, because sand attack, I don't really like sand attack too much. But, because it lowers your accuracy. But, oh well, we'll just go for a bite right here. Can we hit it? Oh, detect. I hate detect. It's just a waste of a move. Never mind. We'll just bite it again. Here we go. Yes, bitten, and you are dead, Patrat. There we go. All right, good job. He knocked out that um, Patrat with ease. And that gave us quite a bit of experience. Nice. Alright, sweet. Now, with that kid defeated, as you can see, the gym puzzle right here, we have to read books. The most exciting gym puzzle ever. So, let's go to this one first. Children's books. Nice to meet you, Pokemon. Okay, yeah. Let's read this book right here. Ugh, reading. Oh, wait. There is a memo between the pages. Pokemon trainers. I am the gym leader, Lenora. I hid four uh, memos in this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions for me? Uh, the first question. What is the first book you met in this gym? Well, that's obviously Patch Rats. So, if you want... Well, if, if you... If you, like, first got this game and you don't know this gym puzzle, I'll just show you right here. Um, you have to go to this one next. So, here we go. Um, the Biology of Patch Rat. Why would you ever want to read a Biology of Patch Rat? It's literally, like, the most boring Pokemon in this whole game. Why not read the Biology of Haxorus or Hydrogon? They're much more, in well, interesting than Patch Rat. So here's another memo. Thought that question was easy. Well, this is the second one. Flame bird in its body. So, yeah, to get this one, you have to come up here, but this trainer will be blocking it. So I think this person actually has a Herdia, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch Josh to the front so he can handle it, because I don't think Cupcake, my Cupcake, is ready to take on another Herdia yet. So here we go. Hmm, I see. Did you find? Yep, I did. 
Uh, we don't care because it's all about readings and structure of locomotives which are completely boring so let's just get ready to battle this person right here because we have to battle her if we want to get to the next book so here we go. And I believe she actually has a herdier if I don't if I do recall so here we go. Uh, scientist Satomi, yeah one Pokemon and it is a herdier. I don't think my cupcake is ready to take these things on yet so we'll just let Josh my sort candle let's so here we go. Hopefully it doesn't have Intimidate, no it doesn't sweep. Let's go for a low sweep. Hopefully that will do some damage. But of course it uses an X Defend because they're lame. But don't worry, low sweep will hopefully do some damage. Please. Nice. Clean to it, KO. And it's speed lowered, so we should be able to outspeed it. So here we go. Go ahead and low sweep Josh. And he just handled that like a pro. There we go. Nice work, Josh. And that should give him a lot of experience, actually. Nice. Almost a level up, sweet. Never has been so powerful. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now with her defeated, we can now read that book. So here we go. Oh, wait, get up the ladder. There we go. To do general studies. Oh, God, so boring. This isn't a science lesson. This is time for Pokemon. What's this? Another memo. Impressive you on this place. Third question, if you hit the pot. Okay, I know what this one is, but first I would just go into quickly switch. Oh, not that. I'm going to quickly switch Cupcake to the front right here. There we go. All right. Now, I actually do believe it's this one right here, is it? Yeah, here we go, this is it. Alright, there you go. Thank you very much. Sinner region, ooh, nice reference there. Nope. Last question. Now, this is the last question, and as you can see right here, it may sound extremely tricky, look at this, but in reality, it's probably the easiest question in this entire gym, and you know why? Because it's the only bookshelf you haven't been to yet, which is this one right here. So, yeah. Way to make your questions really hard, Lana. But anyway, this is the last trainer right here, so let's battle her. Um, yes. Yes. Let's do this. Okay. Now, I wonder what this girl's going to have, because hopefully what she'll have will level up um, Cupcake to all the way to level 17. This is school kid Lydia. And she has a lily pup. Okay. My Cupcake can just take down these things to death. So here we go. Alright. How far are we from leveling up? Not far away. So let's go ahead straight for a takedown right here. Yes. Nice, one hit KO, sweet. Good job, Lily Pup. Well, no, no, Cupcake, sorry. <laughs> You're not a Lily Pup anymore. And level 17, oh yes, that's more like it. Okay, um, next up we have another Lily Pup, so I think I will go. Let's go with Brick. Let's see how well he can do against Lily Pups. So here we go. Alright, coming out, Brick. Hopefully you can um, do some damage to Lily Pups with your Rock Blast, because Rock Blast will do good against Lily Pups. So here we go. Rock Blast! Leah. Who cares about Leah? But anyway, um, yeah, my defense fell, I don't care, I'm just going to rock blast your face to death. Come on, be a five, five hits, not two. Yes, come on, three. Ah, oh, fail, oh well, we'll just go for another rock blast. Ow, bite, no. <laughs> I was afraid that might, um, you know, do, do, would do a lot of damage, but of course, um, Brick's really defensive, so it didn't, nice. Alright, there we go, Lady Pup fainted. And uh, another Lily Pup. Um, let's just keep Rock. Um, no, not Rocky. Brick. Yes. I wonder why I keep calling all Rock types Rocky. Just so used to um, my, uh, well, in my deceased white Let's Play on my old Mr. Mario Back account, I had a Gigalith called Rocky. And because I watched Leroy's Pokemon Hot Gold and Soul Silver um, walk through a lot, and he named his Golem Rocky, I'm just getting so used to the name Rocky. Okay. Come on. Kill it. Yes, nice job, critical hit, sweet. Good job, Brick, you handled that really well. Ah, oh, so close to leveling up, fail, but oh well, doesn't matter, I guess. So there we go, alright. Yep, it's now time for the gym leader, so all we have to do is just read this last book right here. And the biology of Tepig. Well, that's a little bit more interested in, interesting than the biology of Patrat, at least Tepig's more useful than Patrat. But anyway, managed to get all the questions, so it's time to open the bookcase which leads to the stairs that lead to Lenora. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of leading stuff going on here. But there we go. The bookcase is moving, and there are the stairs to the gym leader. Alright. She must get very lonely down there all by herself on the ground. I feel sorry for her. But anyway, I'm just going to head and use a potion on, um... Oh, no, stop it. Oh my god, hang on, bear with me guys, I'm messing about here. So just go ahead and use a super potion on Cupcake right here. And I'm going to switch card to the front for one sole reason, so let me just do that. Um, I'm going to switch card to the front, there we go. I would switch Josh to the front, but you will see soon. 
But before that, we see that, let's go down these stairs, and here we go. We're ready to take on the second gym leader of the Unova region, Lenora, the normal type gym leader, the plain turnabout. Hopefully, nobody will die against her, so let's do this. Alright, here we go. Welcome. I'm, I'm the, the director of Nasreen's museum and the Nasreen city gym leader. It's me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokemon you've so lovingly raised. Yep, I've raised them with all my heart, and hopefully they'll help me beat you. So here we go. Gym leader Lenora would like to battle. Well, not really. You are challenged by Gym leader Lenora. <laughs> but here we go. Now she has a Herdia, and this is the reason why I sent Car out. You'll see in a minute. And it's level 18. Holy cow. Right here, you see? It has Intimidate. Now, if I would have sent um, Sork out in the beginning, his attack would have been lowered and he wouldn't have done too much damage. But it doesn't really matter to Car because he does have Leaf Tornado, so hopefully that should do some damage to this um, uh, Herdia. So here we go. Leaf Tornado. Alright, that doesn't do as much as I want, but at least we avoid the attack. Nice. Um, I think I'm going to growth up some right here, because hopefully that will um, help me get my attack higher. So here we go. Alright, I'm going to growth up once again. And I think one more Leaf Tornado should actually take it out, so here we go. Hopefully it won't do too much damage with this next takedown right here. Oh my god! Oh my god, okay. It's time to knock this thing out right now. Alright, come on, knock it out, knock it out, knock it out. I've got, I grew up twice, so it should. Yes, it does, sweet. Phew, that was scary, nice. Did a lot of damage to me there, and we're now level 18, hooray. Good job, car. Nice job living. Okay, now here comes Watchog. I'm going to send out Josh, and hopefully he can take this thing on. So here we go. Come on out, Josh. And hopefully you can just load sweep this thing to death, so here we go. Alright, now this thing is level 20, so it may be a problem. Alright. Yeah, no matter how grim the situation, yes. So, low sweep, go! Leah, I don't care, I'm just going to low sweep you to death. Here we go. Come on, Josh. You can do it. Ah, dust on the screen again. Hang on a minute. There we go. Oh, yes, look at that. Bear with me, I'm just cleaning dust off the screen. There we go. Alright, and its speed fell, so we should be able to outspeed it and finish it off with a double kick. Here we go. Come on, Josh. Oh, yes, look at this. There we go, taken out. Man, Car and Josh, the dream team, they handle that with no problem whatsoever. Sweet. Nice job, guys. Ah, oh, God, nearly two levels up, wow. But there we go, we've defeated Lenora. Oh, yes, excellent. And no deaths as well. This is going really well, thanks to Car and Josh. Nice job, you guys. And we have now got the basic badge. Oh, yes, basic badge for the win. So, we're going to open our case. Get the basic badge, place it in there very neatly, close it, and we are now winners. There we go. Alright, thank you very much. We have now got Retaliate. Um, yeah, I think I'll teach that to um, Cupcake, maybe. So, there we go. Alright, very good. Dear! Oh, what's this? Oh, it's him. What does he want? Team Plasma. Oh, they're back again. And they've stolen the bones of the Dragonite. Holy cow, she can run fast. <laughs> wow. London 2012 athlete right there. So let's just go back up because apparently the big, there's a big commotion going on. So here we go. Do, 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 do. What do you have to say for yourself? Praise me. Oh, strange people went in the museum. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's just check we're certified. Yep, I'm certified. So that was very nice to see. Okay, now let's go and see what's going on. Oh, Team Plasma. Now you wait. Enough fooling around. Team Plasma, what are you up to? So you've come, Gym Leader. We, Team Plasma, claim this museum's Dragon Skull in the name of Team Plasma Pokemon Liberation. Why? How is a Dragonite Skull going to help you liberate Pokemon? Huh. <laughs> no idea, but anyway. They, uh, make lots of mist appear, and they have stolen the Dragonite Skull. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Slowly walking. The tragedy of the missing Dragonite Skull. It's just too much to bear. Uh, oh no, we have to go after them. Alright, let's go. Wait, wait, you're not coming with us? You said we have to go after them. Why are you not coming? Fine, I'll go instead. Coward. Anyway, let's just go out and we shall now see this. Lena is looking around in confusion. She hurts herself in confusion. <laughs> oh, who's this? Good day, Lena. Find any good fossils lately? Um, surprise visit. Ah, who is this? Who is this? This bird. He may not look like it, but he's... Ah, the Castalia City Gym Leader. I think he's the next Gym Leader, actually, so here we go. Alright. Yep, Team Plasma have just stolen Dragonite Skull. Did you not see them w running out of here when you actually were just walking up here? Oh, Kirby, what's everyone doing here? Oh, and Sharon's here as well. What the? 
Is there some kind of a problem? Um, of course there is. We won't be walking around here for nothing. The friends. Bianca and Shen. Oh, I see. They're trainers. Okay, apparently we're going to split up and look for a skull, because apparently skulls are priceless, but yes. Alright, um, I'm going to go with Berg into the pinwheel forest, so I guess we'll just do that now. Oops, I'm sorry for moving the camera. <laughs> but, anyway. Oh, what's this now, Bianca? What, what have you got for me? Oh, a dowsing machine. Oh, I guess that will come in handy. I think I'll put that on, actually. So, yay. Thank you very much. Uh, she told you to go right and look for a Dragonite skull. So, yes. Actually, wait. Yeah, no, I'm an idiot. She told you to watch over the museum. That's what I meant to say. So, you go in there and just watch over it in case anything bad happens again. So, thank you all for watching this episode, guys. What I'm just going to do now is go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up our team. Because, you know, they did really well in that gym and they deserve a nice rest. But they won't be resting for long because next, next episode, we're going to go into Pinwheel Forest and stop Team Plasma once again. So, hooray. Alright, just heal up our team. And I think we'll be able to catch um, probably a six team member in the gym as well, depending on my first encounter. So, yes. Alright, thank you for um, healing me up. Now we're just going to go outside, and we are now going to end it here. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for part 9, where we'll be stopping Team Plasma once again. So this is Kirby Master Ultra signing off. Take care, and I'll catch you all later, guys. Peace out, everyone.